Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Brina, and today, as I'm sure you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you how to apply false lashes. So first of all, there are thousands upon thousands of different kinds and brands of lashes that you could try if you're new to the lash game. And there's so many different styles that work better with different eye shapes. I myself have hooded eyes, so a lash that it's more of like a cat eyelash. It looks a little bit better on my hooded eyes than the ones that would peak in the middle maybe. So for me, I usually prefer a lash like these LA Colors 3D Foam Ink Lashes. As you can see, they, let me take them out so you can see them a little bit better, but they start a little bit smaller on the inner corner and then they are about the same size throughout the middle and the outside with the outside being slightly longer and fuller than the inner corner. Excuse my destroyed box, but I also really love these Ardell Wispy Lashes. These are kind of like the LA Colors ones, except they have a little bit more of a gradual volume, I guess you could say. And then I also have these lashes from Lily Lashes. They are in the style Miami. They're probably the most popular style of lashes I've ever heard of. While I do like to wear these on occasion, they don't necessarily suit my hooded eyes. As you can see, they're very wispy. You can't really tell which end goes to the inner corner and they're just kind of the same all around. While these don't look horrible on my hooded eyes, they probably aren't what exactly you're supposed to wear with hooded eyes. But like I always say, the best thing about makeup is you can just do whatever you want. While there are rules, it's okay to break them. But if you are new to lashes, I would highly suggest the Ardell Wispies just because I find them extremely easy to work with because they have a thin band and I find a thinner band is much easier to apply than a thicker band like these Lily Lashes have. They have a very, very thick band while these Ardell's have a very thin clear band. So today we're going to be working with these Ardell Wispy Lashes and I'm going to show you how I apply my lashes. I know it's very hard to tell because I have very sad, very flat lashes, but I do already have mascara on and you want to make sure you start with mascara because it just, if you don't put mascara on first. I find that the lash has nothing to stick to because the mascara gives it a little bit more grip so it doesn't just like fall off while you're trying to apply them. Do you get what I'm saying here? Also, if you don't wear mascara and if you don't have pitch black lashes, then you're definitely going to be able to see the difference between your natural lashes and the false lashes. So it's always best to apply mascara. Some people like to apply it after the lashes, but I just think that that kind of ruins the falsies so they don't last as long because they are reusable. You can usually get like around 20 wears out of a pair of lashes. So these ones I have already worn, so I have already trimmed them. When I trim these ones, I like to cut the, I don't know if you can see that, but I like to cut the outer third off off and then I kind of stack it. So just that way they are the right length for me and I'm not losing any volume. I really only do that with these lashes in particular. These make for great stacking lashes. You can get them in a five pack. If they aren't enough volume for you, just go ahead and stack two lashes and bam, you got like super glamorous, expensive looking lashes and these are only like five bucks, I think. Don't quote me on that. They might be more like 15. I don't really know. It's been a while since I purchased them. But let's get to the actual applying. Just like with the lashes, there are hundreds of different kinds of lash glues and brands you could pick from. There's black, clear, so many different brands. And I've tried a few different brands. My favorite is the Duo Clear Lash Glue. It's the green one that I like the best. There's a green and a blue one. I don't really remember what the difference is, but I do know that I like the green one. So for me, I like to apply the glue to the lash band and you want to be careful that you don't get the glue on the actual lashes because that also shortens your lashes lifespan. This is what it looks like once I get done applying the glue. And then I also like to take a little bit of glue and I really kind of doubt you're supposed to do this with it, but I apply a very thin strip to where my lashes are going to sit 
on my eye. I just find that it makes the glue stick way better and it lasts way longer. And then you just gotta let the glue get a little bit tacky. So we're gonna wait for this to dry a little bit and then I will pop these on. The lash glue is pretty well dried up on my lid and it's starting to get pretty tacky on the lashes. As you can see, once the glue starts to get more tacky, the blue color kind of starts to fade away into nothing because it is a clear lash glue. So once it starts to fade into a dark blue or really start to disappear, that's when I like to apply the lashes. When it comes to actually applying the lashes, you have different options as to how to apply them. I like to start with my fingers. You can use regular tweezers, but these can be kind of dangerous around the eye area because they are pretty sharp and then you can also get actual eyelash tweezers these ones are not sharp so they're much safer to use on the eye and for me like I said I like to start by using my fingers and I always have a mirror that I'm looking down into because if you're looking straight ahead it just makes it a lot more difficult to get the lashes in place plus they kind of if you're looking like this you're not going to get your lashes on how you want them you can just pop them on like that. And then I take my tweezers just to kind of push the outer corner into its exact place. Pinch the my natural lashes to the falsies. And then I work my way into the inner corner. And I just go ahead and use these tweezers to pinch the falsy into my natural lashes until I feel it is nice and secure. And there you have it. I'll quickly do the other eye just so that way you can see it again. Also, when you have a new pair of lashes to measure them, you wanna just stick them on your eye without any glue. And then you can see if you need to trim anything, you wanna put the lash down where you're gonna want it to sit normally. And then you can see where it hangs off on the outer edge. And you always wanna trim from the outer edge because the inner corner is always a little bit shorter and thinner just to make it look more natural. And always start by trimming a very small amount because you can always trim more, but you can't put it back. First, I apply the glue to the falsies and then a little bit to my eye. Like I said, I'm not sure if you're supposed to do this. So apply to your eye at your own will and then wait for it to get tacky. And I like to blow on it or wave it around and that just kind of, speeds up the drying process. And then once it gets tacky, place it on the inner corner and then I like to attach the outer corner first. And honestly, with my left eye, I can usually just go ahead and use my fingers to pretty much apply the lash. And then once I get it pretty much in place, just go ahead and squeeze it to the natural lashes. And once I have them fully in place, I just like to kind of press my natural lashes into them so that way they're not falling down because with my natural lashes just falling down, sometimes it kind of pulls my falsies down too, but doing this usually helps them to kind of stay where I want them to. And that's it. That's how I apply my falsies. Comment down below if there's any other videos like this that you would like me to make and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!